have to really be sincere when I say that. And when I go through things, I have to think not my way, but you let God and whoever he put in my life to be able to guide me through it because it's tough. It's tough. And to get your mindset changed from the way it used to think about things is one of the, the toughest things that, you know, I'm learning to go through and process through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Be obedient. Be obedient. Be obedient. Be obedient. Anybody else? Any questions? Any comments? Good morning. Again, Apostle, thank you. Phenomenal teaching. Thank you. Stay in the will of God. I thank you. Awesome job. Love you much. Apostle, I just want to thank you for the invite so very much, and you, you're blessing my heart, and I appreciate it, and um, I appreciate the invite, and I will come anytime you send me an invitation. Amen. God bless you, and thank you so much, Brandon, for the seed you um put in toward me, <laughs> toward my phone. <laughs> uh, we, I'm still in the process of that. All right. Any other um, questions or any comments this morning before we get out of here? These are Saturday morning glories. 8.30 on Saturday morning. I should be here doing them unless something something needs to change. So if something changes, I'll make sure that a message is put out so that you will know that it's done changed. But these are every Saturday morning. Their morning glory. They are interactive conversations, with me, which means you do get a chance to interact. I'm going to give opportunity for questions and comments because this is where we learn. So it's not about me just, you know, me just doing what I do, but it is about you getting the understanding that you need in order to be able to put these things into place so that they're able to operate inside of your life. I would forewarn you, please do not take for granted the things that you hear the Lord saying. Please do not just um, nonchalantly, um, you know, deal with them because it'll tell on you. It'll tell on you. You know, if you hearken diligently, it'll see you through some tough times and it'll cause you to come through with victory. So, Father, I love you on this morning. Very thankful and grateful for being able to talk to your precious people. These are your people. These are the sheep of your pasture. You just allow me to be the voice that you use in order to be able to instruct and teach and to cause things to work in our favor. So I'm so grateful and humbled uh, before you this morning. Very, very honored to be used by you. Just always, always humbled to be used by you. You, you. You're using a lump of clay. You're using a nothing and a nobody, but causing my voice to be able to impact lives. And I'm forever grateful for that. You you took, uh, like the song say, a nobody that's trying to tell everybody about somebody that can save anybody. That's what you're doing through my life, and I'm so grateful for it. Now, I thank you. We've asked you to bless this day, and we thank you again for you blessing this day, that you will give us this day our daily bread, that you will lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the hand of that old evil one, God. For thine is the kingdom. It's yours. It's not ours. We were adopted into it. It's both the power and the glory. It all belongs to you. And Father, a specific prayer request I have is for resources. I'm head on resources over the next 90 days the intercessors will be instructed to pray specifically for resources to show up in our personal lives and in the life of trim resources to show up god because there are avenues and there are territories and there are things that needs to be done resources become available resources be made known unto us resources become alive to us and we thank you for it now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Intercessors, I do have an assignment for you. I'm going to be tapping in with y'all. You just heard me tell you, though. Resources. 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 
And when there, when resources, when it comes to resources, that means there are some things you're going to have to open your mouth in order to get. Some things you're going to have to ask for, whether that is by application or what, you know, when it comes to resources. So you can't be the type that don't want to ask nobody for nothing and all that kind of stuff. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. We're going to talk about it because resources need to be made available to us in order for us to do the next segment of what God has for us. August is our birthing month. It's our birthing month. August is our birthing month. August 31st, the date Trim was born into the earth, the manifestation of it in the earth. So resources, there's resources needed. Let's get it. All right. I love y'all. I'll catch y'all later. Have a wonderful day. In Jesus' name.